My name is Jean-Eric Foss. I am the department head of the solar energy department at IFE. Solar energy is growing at an impressive pace and becoming a competitive solution in more and more regions of the world. Our main goal is to develop technologies and solutions that will help us become a greener society. At our department, we have two labs, the Solar Cell Technology Lab and the Silicon Production Lab. In the Solar Cell Technology Lab, we focus on industrially transferable processes for making solar cells. In the Silicon Production Lab, we focus on producing pure silicon in different forms for different technologies. We use silicon for producing solar cells, battery applications, and we even use silicon for pharmaceutical purposes. Since I was a child, I have always enjoyed nature. And already in the second year in university, I figured out that I wanted to work with solar energy. Because I think this is such a, a fascinating way of harvesting energy directly from the sun. So when I was offered the position as a PhD candidate at the solar department, it was rather easy to say yes. This process that we are working on understanding is a very important step in the silicon purification process, which is less energy demanding and therefore cheaper than the processes that are used today. If you are able to produce very cheap solar cells, they will be the most affordable alternative and therefore be a more widespread way of harvesting energy. An important part of my research here is measuring the so-called electron lifetime. You can imagine when the light hits the solar cell, it will kick loose an electron and then the electron is free to move around. This time is maybe one thousandth of a second. We have a window where we can get the electron out in the metal contact and in the circuit so we can produce power. So having a silicon material with a high electron lifetime is very important to get high efficiency solar cells. What I like most about working in the lab is that I can actually be the first person to see something new. If I test a new setting, a new parameter combination, and then I see the result and then I can be the first person to see exactly that result. And that is of course because we have such an advanced lab in which we can actually test things that haven't been tested in any lab before. Additionally, it's really important to me that what I do contribute to a better world. And I really believe that what we do related to silicon purification can contribute to making solar cells more affordable.